Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to start a mini-series on discipling new believers. Jesus told his disciples at the end of Matthew's Gospel, Go and make disciples of all nations. You know, As you've seen me do, go and do likewise. Go and make disciples. And the disciples didn't need to say, how do we do that? They'd seen Jesus do that. They'd had a great model for that. But Jesus had also taught them how this was going to pan out. And one of the parables he talked about uh, in this context was the parable of the sower. We looked at it a couple of weeks ago. And it's a parable of parables. It's about how do people respond to the word of God. Some don't hear it at all. Some receive it joyfully, enthusiastically to start off with, but when the going gets tough, it all withers. Some kind of start off growing, but don't produce any fruit because worldly cares and concerns and the lure of wealth and all of that kind of stuff chokes out newfound faith. But some fall on good soil and produce wonderful crop, a wonderful harvest. And I believe Jesus taught this just to sort of give disciples a bit of a framework for seeing um, what kingdom work discipling new believers would look like. Sometimes in worldly terms it looks like a bit of a failure because you think, goodness, I've shared this gospel and some people haven't responded at all. Some have been really enthusiastic and had a great testimony, or so it seemed, and then just a couple of months later they disappear. What was that about? Some will respond and seem to become Christians and yet they never seem to make the transition from the world to God. God never seems to be their primary kind of priority. But others respond gladly and abundantly and fruitfully. And I believe Jesus taught this parable to his disciples to say, be encouraged by that, that fruitfulness in a small area. Don't be kind of discouraged when you see the crowd wane. Jesus himself in his ministry drew huge crowds, but not all of those people became disciples. In fact, it was only a small percentage that actually did. And we need to be aware of that as we engage in this ministry of discipling new believers. Because I found that, that actually, if you were to divide that into percentages, if 25% of people don't respond at all, 25% kind of respond enthusiastically at first, but then their faith just suddenly disappears, evaporates, when the going gets tough or they find something more interesting. And if 25% kind of are never really in the game anyway because of they haven't escaped the, the clutches of the world, then then only 25% of people that you're actively trying to disciple as new believers are going to produce fruit in the long run. And that's okay. Rather than being discouraged and beating yourself up about the 75%, make sure you don't forget the 25% who've responded and heap as much fertilizer on them as you possibly can.